Hi guys, welcome to this session on Google Slides. In this module, I'm going to show you how to create a simple slideshow using Google Slides. So first of all, I've opened Google Slides and it's displaying a title slide. What I'm going to do a title, which is going to be Waterloo, and then click to add subtitle, which will be the date for that, 18th of June, 1815. And then I now need a new slide. So you've got loads of tools at the top. So you've got file, new file, new presentation. You've got edit, you've got view, you've got insert, image, text box, you've got format, slide, new slide, control M I could use. Duplicate, you've got arrange, tools, spelling, etc., etc., and then the add-ins. And you've also got a, some tools on this toolbar, basic formatting tools and stuff like that. And then on the right, you've got the present button, so you can have a look at this in full screen, how this would look. You've also got a series of themes down this side here, different designs, if you like, that you can use. And down the bottom, you've got a space to put notes. And this one is the view we're in, and you've got this view, which shows you like a stack of cards or a layout of cards of your different slides. We've only got one at the minute. And you can also click on this little preview, mini preview, and press enter, that gives you a new slide. So I could have done control M, I haven't, and I've just done this. So it's give us like a, a title with a list. So if I go to slide, you've got in there um, layout, different options. So this is the one it's picked up, title and body. You've got all these different options that you can have if you don't want that layout or a blank one altogether, if you don't want anything on it, you're just going to put a picture or something. But I'm just going to leave it like this. I need to put the title in there though. French forces. And then rule of thumb is just to have three points on the slide. So there are, there are no bullets set there, but I'll just add a bullet and then we can just put the three points. Napoleon, pressing enter, pressing tab to give myself a little indent. Press and enter again. Press and shift tab to take me back to a main bullet. Press and enter. Press and tab again. Cavalry. He's in charge of the cavalry. Press and enter. Shift tab. Back up. And a guy called Murat. Say that with a French accent. He was in charge of the artillery. And that's all I want for that slide. So get a new slide or do control M for the British forces. British forces and then again I want a bullet list and we've got Wellington tab guards enter shift tab Picton enter tab infantry and the last guy shift tab Uxbridge who's in charge of the cavalry cavalry cav cavalry so that's my three slides now, this is not a saved presentation, so I'm just going to call it um, what it will do, actually. I've just clicked on that. It's going to save it in my drive. So it's just pick the title. So now I've got three slides. You can navigate them through them down here. Or if you click on these, this little button, you've got them side by side, and you can move them if you so wish. I don't want to move them just yet, because what I want to do now is look at doing a background. So you've got background layout theme so this is the default theme this one I could click on to that um, I've got a background where you can choose a color so like let's go for blue um, not a good color choose an image which is what I will do I'll browse for a photo that one I'll do don't know what that one is to be honest and then I've got that on the first slide, but if I want it on all the slides, I can just click add to theme and then it will go on all of them. And then I've got done. And then you've got your, that needs to have an S on the end of it, French forces. Now you can see your text is quite hard to see. So if I highlight the text and then change the color to something that's going to stand out a little bit, maybe yellow, orange. No, yellow, just go for yellow. 
and same on that one on both slides uh, French forces looks okay to be honest but I'll just change it anyhow so when you put an image in the background you have to be careful that this, this is very difficult to see even now um, it's probably not the best image that I've picked I should go and pick a different one actually which I will do the font color can stay yellow but I'm just changing it now just to show you how you can do that quite quickly and easy and if I go to background again and choose a different image one that doesn't is not too intrusive just browse for that one um, I want a quite dark one that's quite dark open that one and then I need it on all of the slides so I need to add it to the theme done that's better so now you can see the font easily on each slide so layout if you have already looked at that that's a different layout themes we've already had a quick look at themes transition is how one slide moves across from so from from the title to the next how the transition is and it's on none at the minute so I'll just get it to be dissolve um, apply to all slides play so it gives you a little preview stop now if I want to look at this in full screen I can just go present and then it shows you in full screen and then I'm clicking through and it dissolves from one slide to the other and then I press escape to come back down to the edit area if you like so that's three slides I've created there and then that's all I want to talk about in this little session so Hopefully it was of use to you. Google Slides is quite easy to use. Nothing too technical in that. You can create a presentation quite quickly and then you've got it in your drive, your Google Drive. So that's all I want to talk about in this little session. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.